what's your concept of being realistic? I think that the glass can be half full and still have space in it, like empty space. That's what that's the other half. Yeah. Right. But if you say that people are like, well, that's kind of pessimistic because why can't it just be half full? Like, why do you have to add the concept of like whatever is missing in it? It's because because there's it it's has something missing in it. Like the cup yeah. is not full to the top. It's half full, which also means it's half know, empty, which means you have to acknowledge the half emptiness. Right. And I think my I've always been the kind of person that's like, for example, I, my concepts of like friendships or relationships is like they can end. And that is a very real possibility. And for you planning, but you should still try to make them not end. Right. But yeah. there's nothing wrong with you planning in the event that it does. Yeah. Like, well, some people, for example, well, some people argue that in planning its end, you're also causing it. Right. But then if you were to take that same ideology and put it to other things, like when I was in high school, my dad took me to the hospital because he needed me to know exactly what was in his will and like how he wanted certain things to do. And in my mind, I'm in high school and my dad is in his like 30s. Yeah. So it was like, why yeah, like, do why does my 30 something year old dad need to talk about his will with me? But there's but you could argue with that situation that he's not planning his death. He's just it's just saying that is death in is case of death. Right. Exactly. Just like relationships can end. Not that it's inevitable. So, you can make them not end, but you but can I'm, still prepare to make that. end if it were to end a little less painful, but I'm but I, well, I'm not disagreeing with you. But what I'm saying here is when you're when you're exposing your child to your will, that is not necessarily directly bringing your life to an end at a faster rate and some people when you're making plans for if your relationship were to end mentally certain things in your relationship you might not fight as hard for you might not um i guess try to deal with because in your mind you've already internalized that it could end so this might just be the thing that ends it so you're always ready for it to end you know what I mean? It's not like right, but like I think that. there's a difference in personality, I guess, um, that makes that shift from preparing for it to end or seeing signs of when you need to pull out. Because I also think that we've normalized this concept of walking away from things and canceling things without trying. That you being able to walk away when you've tried is still bucketed in that. Uh, well, you just kind of gave up. Mm -hmm. um, there, there's so many stories about how like women sit through toxic relationships and the man changes or mm -hmm. life changed that person in some sort of way that everything that they're living became okay or whatever and that's that's very true there yeah. are relationships that start at rock bottom and yeah but not every progress. relationship does that right exactly so i think there's there's a point in life where you have to realize what your personality type is and what things like what things are driving you to make certain decisions mm -hmm. so for example for me i'm a very realistic kind of person so me you saying sure you know a relationship can end is not me predestining it but it's me thinking okay if this were to end i'm still gonna be good and for mm -hmm. me that's my rock that's my anchor to know that when I make a decision, I'm not going to sink.